Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about the United States and how things may be changing, how the view may be shifting a little bit, and how the U.S. might be leaving somewhere, for real. Something that has been talked about for quite some time may be getting underway in earnest. So today we will talk about the foreign policy concept of deprioritization when it comes to the Middle East. We're going to do this because right now there are talks underway between the United States and Iraq, and those talks are to determine the, uh, the future shape of the mission, I believe is how they're phrasing it, which means whether or not the U.S. needs to be there anymore. The U.S. has about 2,600 troops there, more or less, and they are there at the request of the Iraqi government. Therefore, the host nation can, in fact, ask them to leave. Now, the political talking points that are going to emerge from this, the far right is obviously going to try to paint this as if it is Biden running away from, I don't know, the recent strikes okay, on U.S. facilities. Please remember, just because something is new to you or new to the news cycle doesn't mean it's actually a new development. There have probably been uh, more than 100, less than 200 of those strikes over the last six months. That's not it. Um, there is another contender for the reason this is happening now, and that is that in response to one of those strikes, the U.S. got, uh, well, let's just call it over-aggressive in, in, in one of those responses and created some collateral. The Iraqi government was super unhappy about that, understandably so. They mentioned at the time that they might ask the U.S. to leave. So maybe that's it. But realistically, it's time. It's just time for this to happen. And maybe the response, I don't even think it sped things up. It probably just removed all doubt from the Iraqi side. So what would happen? The U.S. leaves, U.S. official troops leave, and uh, maybe some contractors get put there instead, 500 or so. But they are under, they're employed by the Iraqi government, not by the U.S. Uh, the Iraqi government may not do that, though, because there are also Iranian advisors, wink, wink, in Iraq. And from the Iraqi perspective, they're doing a pretty good job. So they may not need any help from the U.S., Okay, so why would the U.S. do this other than they're being asked? It may be the start of a wider deprioritization of the entire Middle East. That is a long-term U.S. strategy that they've been trying to get underway for quite some time. And it means exactly what it sounds like. The U.S. would be leaving the Middle East, being less involved there. Please understand, this is not because the U.S. has decided it doesn't want to play Masters of the Universe empire-building games. It's that it wants to play them in Africa instead. Nothing altruistic about it. Um, with everything going on, it may just seem like the right time to do it. So, it's, uh, it's a possibility that it's getting underway. I personally... Have, uh, have have wanted them to start this for quite some time. They needed to. Um, I, I don't really... I, I want them to do it so they stop playing Masters of the Universe games there um, because we don't need to be there. We need to transition our energy. We need to transition our, en our, our energy. Um, so... We will find out more about this as, uh, as the information comes out. My guess is that if, if the U.S. does leave Iraq, you will see it start to leave in other places, especially places that had a shared mission um, pretty quickly as well. You'll start to see a, a faster phase out if the U.S. leaves Iraq. So this, these are definitely talks to watch. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.